Hey guys, so I have some side projects and one of the problems with having side projects is maintaining them. Um, the one side project I'm going to talk to you today about is my uh, license plate detector uh, thing. It's just a, it's just a fr front end, a web front end on uh, open ANPR or ALPR. Rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? So um, what happened is that I got this really weird looking email from from Kyrgyzstan um, I've actually been there a few years ago on my Mongol rally uh, you can have a look at that page about my Mongol rally it was quite awesome see I went to Kyrgyzstan and um, and I guess they have a bot that goes around detecting if they can write to a, P uh, a PHP hosted thing and they did so what was the issue? The issue, I guess, was that I didn't um, escape the name of the file, I think. Um, I'm not really sure. So, so PHP is a bit of a, a security nightmare, in my opinion, because... Um, well, because... you have to manually escape everything and it's very easy to make a mistake and I obviously made a mistake here and I'm not even sure where the mistake was made um, and what they did was I think have like some a back tick and they managed to write um, you see that back tick that, that thing here it's a back tick so they managed to write that file by manipulating the file name. So, um, as an exercise, I thought I would re-implement the whole thing in Golang, and, and I just did that. I just I did that today. Um, it took me quite a long time, to be honest. Um, so we've gone from uh, sixty-one lines of PHP, pretty much, to um, hundred lines of Golang but the good thing is that I don't need to run PHP FPM and all the dependencies I think it's a lot more leaner so what it is in case you don't know is it's just a front end to uh, docker run it just supplies the uploaded file to a docker run running the open ALPR project and it, I thought this would be easy, but it, it isn't because, well, especially with the PHP version, is that PHP FPM usually runs as like nobody, and that usually doesn't have Docker permissions, for example. So this Docker run wasn't working properly, unless I made some hacks. So now I'm running this service as my user on my server, and it works. Yeah. It works. Um, if anyone has some feedback about my code, I'll be grateful. So the the cool thing about um, the, the the more secure thing about uh, doc, uh, using GoLang is that you have this like exec command and um, the way that you pass arguments is, are, are are more explicit and they can't the, the back text would wouldn't work right. So it's more secure. I'm not using HTML templates here, or, or am I? But another good thing about the Golang with web apps is that the templating stuff does all the automatic escaping for you. It um, has like this auto context stuff. Very good. So, um, yeah, these. Um, I'll link to the videos related to this project, though. Ooh. Um, there's lots of stuff to do, like, it could be faster. Um, could, I, could, I, I need to have like some sort of feedback uh, so that people can tell me if if the that if what they submitted was uh, what the results they got was was right or not um, so yeah so I've gone from this like do not use <laughs> um, to PHP version to a golang version hmm. I must say it is a bit of a pain to 
one of the things that I had to write was the service file to basically keep the um, the service running and then um, and then I proxy it with caddy yeah so from PHP to Golang guys um, what do you think what do you think let me know I think it's going I think it's better I think it's better um, and a front end to docker a docker run okay that's what I that kept me busy this weekend um, please like if you're interested and please ask me any questions and subscribe cheers guys bye now